it's a wondrous day. It is absolutely wonderful. Day 6450, and ironically enough, we just hit 50 subscribers. How incredible is that? You guys, I I I started this as more of like a a personal like vlog kind of thing just to kind of be able to look back on it for myself. And I thought maybe I would get like 10 people watching my tomfoolery and my ridiculousness. But chickens, chickens, there are 50 people <laughs> who have said, I like you. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. So thank you to everyone who has subscribed. If you wouldn't mind, click the little button and subscribe as well if you haven't already. That's hilarious. It's the simple things, Jackie Diane. <laughs> yep. We finally found a contractor. Can you believe it? We finally found a contractor. I hope. He's coming tomorrow. We'll see. We were, uh, we had to run an errand earlier and we were coming home and I saw a little sign right at the bottom of our hill for a, for a construction company. Um, this area got hit really hard by the, the windstorm that we had. So apparently they've been getting quite a bit of business from this little neighborhood up here and they put a sign down there. So we called them and, and they are a full service construction company. They do everything. So they'll be able to give us a quote for all the repairs that need to be done <clears throat> because, um, we talked to our insurance company and they told us that, you know, if we have to call five different contractors for all the different things like a siding contractor, a roofing contractor, a fencing contractor, like, you know, that's what we needed to do because of all the damage that was done to the house. So we were sitting down getting ready to call all these different places to try to kind of put together all these different estimates. And um, then we found them. So hopefully they'll be able to just put it in one big, one big chunk and, uh, and we'll be able to get some, some progress started on getting the things done that need to be done. Because <clears throat> there is a giant blue tarp on the top of my house right now. It's so attractive. It's a, it's a, it's a nice shade of blue. Nice contrast when you look at it with like the, the trees behind it. And then the, the bright blue sky behind it. A different blue, but still blue. So yeah, it's, it's great. It's just a little, like, like a little top hat for our house. It's wonderful. So yeah, that's good news. That's going to be uh, wonderful to finally get that all taken care of. Now the trick is, once you get the estimates and get the contractor out here to do all that, getting them to come back and do the work. That's the trick. I'm, I'm uh, thinking it's going to be a minute. Because we're going to have to have our whole roof replaced. And, uh... I'm sure that there are others that have similar needs. So, and then we got word that there's another wind, <laughs> another wind event coming this weekend. So apparently Friday and Saturday, tomorrow and the next day, we're supposed to have horrific winds yet again. So we'll see. We'll see if this shack holds together. I don't know. Little Gwen, look at her. She's just so cute. And Chip. If you haven't seen it already, I did a little snippet video. I put some, uh, I have some wild bird seed that we put in these feeders, like this one right here. See the little outside feeder? Birds love it. Um, so we've been putting food in those, and I I know that people use those little, those uh, oiled black sunflower seeds. And that's in that bird seed. So I was like, eh, let's see what happens. So I threw a, a, a cup of it in here, and the birds were scared of it. And they just stood and stared at it for quite some time before they actually decided that they were going to uh, going to partake. And it looks like they, they ate a lot of it. It looks like good. Good, 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 good. I'm trying to vary their diet a little bit because all they've been eating is the chick start. And they eat so much of it. It makes me feel like they're, they need more. You know, they need more than just chick start. So... I've been trying to introduce new things. We tried the lettuce. If you go back and look, you can see the great lettuce debacle. They won't eat lettuce. Um, I've tried that several times. And then uh, I've tried peanut shells. They won't eat those. 
And uh, but they seem to like this bird seed all right. The big birds do too. So that was uh, that was something new and fun. Unfortunately, I just got like the last few minutes of them standing there staring at it blankly blinking like what is going on? What what is this? Um, but yeah, I did get a little bit of it. What are you doing? Pecone Chicone. So yeah, again, I, I'd really, I'm, I, my mind is blown on, uh, I know 50 subscribers doesn't sound like a lot, but to me that's just kind of nutty. So, but certainly appreciated. Squirtin' Lee. What's going on? What are you doing, Parabolabola? Such a fluffy bird. You look beautiful. Yes, you're doing such a good job cleaning yourself up. So pretty. It's funny, in the light, at least from what I'm seeing here, his feathers look gray, or her feathers look gray. But uh, I guess they are. They're certainly not as gray as Felicity, but definitely gray. Definitely some graying going on there. Same with this guy. Hmm. Cool. Cool chickens. And if you look here, you can see this little mister right here. Look at that. Isn't that gross? What is that? It's so nasty. And I, I clean this every time I empty their water and look at it. It's like once a day I clean this out and then it just gets all gross. But look at this fellow. Look at this. Look at this <clears throat> hen. Yeah, right. Stand still. Stand still, Oswald. I want to show everyone your your waddle. No, Oswald's not going to cooperate, but that's okay. Not there. Are you? Where is he, Oswald? Oh goodness. Let's see. Okay, there he is. Aha! I found you. Yeah, his waddle is getting huge. It's starting to really pop out like fiddles did. So yeah, two roosters so far. I thought for a while there that uh, that our roadrunner friend here, Dale, was a rooster, but I don't think I don't think she is. I think she's a hen because the waddle isn't dropping like it like it is on these other ones. So thinking we only have two roosters, and that's cool because. I don't think we're going to be able to keep one of them. I don't think we can keep two because um, Mr. Oswald here is very aggressive. Like even with the the hens in here, he runs around and they were they were chest bumping earlier and not in a, a hey bro kind of way. They were battling it out. He seems to like to battle it out with Felicity and Parabola for whatever reason. So yeah, crazy birds. And then we have these guys. This one right here, this little Peppa plant, my Peppa pig plant, is uh, coming right up. There's a couple of them that are sprouting up. So yeah, the peppers are doing great. Tomatoes, not so much. This guy's doing okay. And then this one is still just peeking out. So I might, I think I'm going to have to replant my tomatoes, which is fine, whatever. Oh yeah, the pepper's looking pretty good. I planted a lot because I, I kind of figured that would happen. Like I thought it would happen over here, but it didn't. But then it happened over here where I was like, oh, maybe calm down a little bit on the number of seeds you put in there. But this seemed to be doing much better than this. So, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what happens. We shall see. See everybody, Wednesday, right? Is it, no, Thursday. Today's Thursday. You're going to head on into the weekend. You've got to batten down the hatches again, chickens. Now, take my porch furniture off the, off the porch this time. <laughs> so it doesn't go flying through the neighborhood. All right, one more look at the biggins, and then we will head out for the night. Falco. Falky Falky. 
Yeah, more brown coming out in Falco. She's getting lots of brown in her feathers. And they're getting their they're getting their big girl feathers. You can see here on Faddle or Fiddle. Yeah, it's Fiddle. Fiddle's got the big boy feathers going. And even little Laddie's starting to get some longer feathers on her wings. So yeah, they're you can see giant Faddle over here. She's got big girl feathers. You getting your grown girl girth. Yeah. Beautiful girl. And then little Jack. Getting some big ones there too. So they will be... I think they'd be good to go. Actually, someone commented on a cup... My, a cup it was a video I did a couple days ago. They commented that they just put their chickens out, their, their babies out, um, like four days ago. Um, I appreciate that comment. And they also said that they didn't use heat lamps. So if anyone can clue me in on that as to how you do that without heat lamps, because when these guys were little, if I took that heat lamp away, it was panicville. Like we were in a dead panic if that heat lamp wasn't there and the peeps were endless. So, I mean, do they just huddle together for warmth or do you just keep them in a warm place in your house or, you know, what... How do you do that exactly? Because I've heard that from a couple people, that they don't use heat lamps. And I'm like, okay, so what do you do? If they don't have mama chicken butt to keep them warm, then what do you do? So if uh, that gentleman happens to watch this and could answer that for me, I replied, but I haven't got a reply back yet on how you do that. So if anybody has any ideas on that, please pass them on. All right, everyone. The end to another successful day. Right, Laddie? Laddie says, whatever, lady. Get out of my face. All right, everyone. Bye-bye.